an informal but informative exhibition on climate change and its effects on Namibia, targeting the youth who are expected to take the lead in discussions on how Namibia should cope with the effects of this phenomenon is keeping the coastal community engaged. I've learned that we can actually say the environment ourselves, that everyone is part of the environment and can also do something to help. Local artist Hangula Verna has high hopes for the mobile exhibition in attracting people from all walks of life to learn about climate change and its effects on people's livelihoods. If it starts flooding and we have a bunch of mosquitoes, we have a bunch of sick people. How is that nurse not involved? Then I said, and the engineer, what's he going to do? Well, the engineer can think around building things that are more energy saving. Yeah? Then you have a teacher. Your teacher can educate. You'll see them. But these are not the only solutions raised during the interaction with residents. The German ambassador recommended that Namibia used renewable energy to reduce its carbon footprint. Unlike in the past, Christian Schlager says renewable energy technology is currently not very expensive and Germany will continue to give examples or financial help. Namibia is basically a perfect country for solar energy and the technology has already advanced to such an extent that it is not extremely expensive anymore. But currently, it's not, it's not easy, let's put it this way. There's a lot of resistance in the country because people still cling pretty toughly on, on coal. GIZ Regional Technical Advisor expressed these same sentiments, noting that the use of coal will have dire consequences on the environment because it produces harmful byproducts and gas emissions. And also, we really need to stop using coal. Coal needs to stay in the ground. We are, we are really serious about this problem that we have. Schlager commended the organizers for a job well done in spreading the message not only to ordinary citizens, but also to convince policy makers to change their outlook on the use of carbon and coal. Renate Ringura, NBC News, Svakabmund.